We continue now at the top of Daf Kof Zayin Amad Aleph and Masechas Yivamis. This is Yivamis Daf 107a. The Mishnah says, Beis Shammai Omrim, Beis Shammai say, Ein Mimanin Ela Arusos. Only girls who are betrothed, only they are allowed to do mu and they are allowed to do refusal. Rashi over here says, Ein Mimanin Yesoma Shesiua Ima Viachev. We're talking about a situation where you have an orphan, she's a girl, she doesn't have a father, and either her mother or her brother marry her off. So Ella Mino Arison. So there's a halach of Mion as a minor, she's allowed to refuse the marriage, but that halach of Mion only applies if she's betrothed. But according to Beis Shammai, it only applies to Aruso. So only girls that are betrothed, but not those who are Nesuos, not those who are married. Well Beis Hillel Omrim and Beis Hillel say Arusos Unesuos. It applies both to Arusos and to Nesuos, both to women again who are betrothed or those who are married. And the Mishnah continues, Beishamai Omrim, Beishamai say, Bebal, Velo Beyovim. The halach of Mion of refusal applies only to the husband, but does not apply to the brother in law. Let's say there's a situation of Yibum. Well, Beishilal Omrim, Bebal, Uve Yovim. Beishilal say, no, it applies both to the husband and also to the Yovim. And Rashi over here explains, Bebal, Avol, and Mes, meaning to say it only applies to the husband according to Beishamai. Let's say that husband dies. And she does not refuse him. And now she falls to the Yavam, she falls to the brother-in-law. So over there, and she can't leave the brother-in-law using Mion. She has to wait until she becomes an adult, and then she will do Chalitza. And the Mishnah continues, Beishamai Omrim Beishamai say, Befun of Mion only applies in front of him, meaning it has to be done in front of the husband. Beishil Omrim Befun of Vishalo Befun of Beishil say, Mion can be done in front of him or not in front of him. Beishamai Omrim Bebezdin, Beishamai say that Mion has to be done in Bezdin. Beishil Omrim Bebezdin, Vishalo Bebezdin, and Beishil say, No, it can be done in court or it can be done out of court. Amru lehem beis Hillel lebeis Shammai. So beis Hillel said to beis Shammai, "Mema enes vehi ketano afilu dalid vehi po amim." The halach is that Mian works when she is a minor, even four or five times. Amru lehem beis Shammai. Beis Shammai said to them, "To beis Hillel, ain benos Yisrael hefker." The daughters of Israel are not hefker. Ella mema enes. Rather, she does one refusal. Umam tenes at shetagdil. Then she waits until she becomes an adult. Utemoyin, and then she does refusal. Betinase, and then she is allowed to marry. And Rashi over here says, Ain Benos Yisrael Hefker. Again, Beishamai is saying that Benos Yisrael, the daughters of Israel, are not Hefker. Vafilu mino And he means to say, even if it's a situation of Erison, of betrothal, lo timoin v'tayores la'acher v'tachzeru v'tamoin. She shouldn't do refusal, then become betrothed to somebody else, then do another mion. Ella mima enes bazeh. Rather, she can do that one mion to the first, to the first husband. V'tamten mileros la'acher achetagdil. Now she has to wait to be betrothed to somebody else until adulthood. V'yiyu kedushin Gemurim, at that point it will be a full Kiddushin. She should not do Mian from a second one. In other words, according to Beis Shama, you do Mian one time, you should not be doing it a second, a third time, etc. And then again, Beis Shama said that she waits till she's an adult and she does another refusal to that first husband. The Gemara is going to ask on this, that she already did one refusal to this individual, why should she do a second time? And the Gemara says, Rav Yehuda says in the name of Shmuel, my time with the Beishamai. What is the reason of Beishamai? Why do Beishamai say that there's no Mion by a Nisua, by a girl who is married? And the Gemara answers, Lafisha in Tanai bin And the reason is because there are no conditions when it comes to Nisu. And when it comes to marriage, there are no conditions that can be put into the marriage. Vi Nisua Tamoin. So therefore, if as a minor she would do refusal as a Nisua, Ansi Lamemar, people would come to say, people would make a mistake and think, Yesh Tanai bin Nisuan, that there is such a thing as a Tanai by Nisuan. So the Gemara says, Nichnasa lechuppa velo nivala. Well, what happens if you have a Nisuan where there's no relations? She enters into the chupa, but there is no bia. So there, Ma'ikol Lamemar. So what are you going to say over there? The Gemara seems to be assuming that maybe there is a condition in such a situation. And to, the, to that, the Gemara says, Lafisha ain Tanai bechuppa. The reason is the same. No, there is no condition by chupa, and therefore, again, the same basic idea. People are going to think if we allow a refusal in this situation by a girl who's a minor, people are not going to realize they're going to think that there's a tanai, that it's possible to put in a tanai by chuppah, even by an adult. And Rashi over here explains, my time at the Beishamai, what's the reason of Beishamai, the Amri Nesua lo Mimano? Again, Beishamai say that in Nesua, a married girl is not allowed to do Mion Hakatani. Again, she's a minor. It's not a real marriage on a Doraisa level. Why isn't Mion possible? 
And so the Gemara says, The reason is because there's no such thing as a condition by a Nisuan of an adult woman. Now, even if you have a situation where there was a Tanai at the moment of the Kiddushan, at the moment of the betrothal, at the time of the act of relations and at the time of the Chuppah, that Tanai goes away and the original Kiddushan is in fact Chal. There is no Tanai once you're talking about the Shazbiya, once you're talking about the time of the relations. So therefore, there's a confusion here. Because if you're going to say that a married girl who is a minor is allowed to do me and can refuse, people won't realize the reason why she's getting out of the marriage is because she's a minor. And they're going to think something else. They'll think there must have been some kind of condition in the marriage, and the condition wasn't fulfilled, and therefore there's no marriage. People will come to think, that there can also be a Tanai by an adult girl who gets married. So the Gemara said, So what about in a case where she enters into Chuppah, but there is no Bia? Why can't there be Mion in that case? Because again, they say that the Mion is only by Arusos. That's what Beishamai say. It's only by women that are betrothed. So that sounds like it comes to exclude a case, let's say she even entered Chuppah. Apparently in such a situation, she's not allowed to do Mion, or let's say she's given over to the shluchim, to the, uh, to the agents of the husband. So in such a situation, again, where there is, no, there is no status of betrothed anymore, once she advances to the level of chuppah, so what are you going to say in that case? Why over there is miyun not possible? And the Gemara gave the same basic answer, even by chuppah it's true that there is no tanai. If you're going to say that a minor, a girl who is a minor who entered chuppah and she did not have relations, if she's allowed to do refusal, so Amri Tana Havalu, who they're going to say there must have been a condition. And then they're going to think that you can make a condition by the Chuppah. Again, the situation of the Chuppah basically is where she enters into the domain, into the Rishus of the husband, but has not yet had Bia. And again, the Gemara is saying in that case as well, so there is no Tanai by Chuppah when you're talking about an adult, and therefore there is no Mion by a girl who is a minor as well. And the Gemara continues, and this is what Rashi already alluded to, Moser Ha'av L'Shluch Ha'abal, Rashi's going to note, we're not really talking here about the actual father because she's a Yisoma, she's an orphan, but what, is she, what if she's given over to the agents of the husband, so it's not quite Chuppet, she's now being taken into the husband's Rishus through agents, so my equal, remember, what are you going to say in that situation? And again, the Gemara is asking that because over there, the Gemara is assuming that there could be, in such a situation, there could be a Tanai, and the Gemara says, you're right, but lo plug Rabbanon, we don't make a distinction. Once we're already saying situations of chuppah and situations of nisuin, there is no miyun. So we say the same thing as well when it comes to the shluche habal. Rashi over here explains Masar av masara av l'shluche habal. Again, the father gives her over to the agents of the husband. Michael, Lamemer, what are you going to say? And Rashi explains why this is more of a question. In Ami Asi Lamemer to Nai Moel B'Mesira, let's say people do think that this was a condition over here and that a condition is effective when you give her over, in that case, to the agents. But Shapir Kalami, what's wrong with them saying that? That's actually fine. Share Ein Kan Chiba, there is no situation of Chiba over here. The reason why a Tanai does not work is because there's a situation she's entering into a relationship, uh, an, an actual emotional relationship relationship, so to speak, with the husband, the name Ma'achle Latanoi the Kiddushin. So then we say, once there's, let's say, an act of relations, or there's some kind of act of Chiba, so we say the husband is basically nullifying whatever Tanai he had by the Kiddushin, that's what we would say. But you would not say that in a situation where she's just being given over to the agents of the husband, there's no Chiba, she's not actually going over to her husband, so then actually there could be a Tanai in such a situation, so what would be wrong if people m- make a mistake and think there was a Tanai here, and that there could be a Tanai, but there could be a Tanai by the Shluchei Habah. And Rashi over here notes, like we pointed out in the Gemara, Hai Mosarav Lav Dafka. When it uses the language over here, the father gives her over to the agents of the husband. It doesn't really mean the father. The Ilumi Shakiba Lavia Kiddusha. Because if we were talking about a case where the father accepted a Kiddushan, Lo Nafka Bamiyan, there's actually no refusal over there. You can't use Mian over, over there. To Ha'av Zakoi Bikidushe Bito, because the father, really on a Doraisa level, is able to accept Kiddushan on, on behalf of his daughter. The Ain Mion Elabiyasoma Shakichua Ima Viachia. We only talk about Mion by 
an orphan who the Kiddushin was done through the mother or through her brother. So here's what it means to say, We talk about the fact in general that when the father gives her over to the agents of the husband, that's considered Nisuin. In a similar case we can come up with over here, it would not be her father, but Misrua Achin Lishluchin. Let's say the brothers give her over to the Shaliach Havin Nisuin. That would be considered at the level of Nisuin. Again, according to Beishamai, that's an Nisuin. There's no Mian. But again, why should there be no Mian? And the Gemara's answer was, Lo plug Rabbonin be Nisuin le Nisuin. The Rabbonin don't make a distinction between the various kinds of Nisuin. And the Gemara continues, U Beis Hillel. Now, according to Beis Hillel, what, what do they respond to Beis Shammai's arguments? Why do they allow Mion by a Nisua, by a married girl? And the Gemara answers, Everybody knows it's well known that the marriage of a girl who's a minor is just a Rabbon, and no one is going to confuse it to a situation of a, of a woman that is an adult. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi of Rav Yosef, the Amri Tarvayu, Rabbi of Rav Yosef, they both say a different reason for Beis Shammai. Time of the Beis Shammai, the reason of Beis Shammai that Mion is not effective by a girl that is an Asua, Lafisha'in Adam Osebi Laso Bilas Nos, because if, he has, if he's having relations with this girl, he doesn't want to make it that his relations is an act of Zanus. And so therefore, if you're going to allow Mion over here effectively, we're going to say that retroactively there was no marriage, and the act of relations was a, an act of relations of Zanus, and that's not something that is preferred, and therefore, for there's no mion in that situation. And so the Gemara asks, similar to before, So what are you going to say in a situation where she enters under the wedding canopy, but there is no act of relations, there's no concern of Be'ilaznos, so she should be able to have Mion over there. And so the Gemara still says, No, he doesn't want to have the chupa, the wedding canopy, be a chupa of Isser. And the Gemara asks again along the same lines as before, What if she's given over to the agents of the husband? So then over there, at least in that case, Mion should be effective. And again, the Gemara says, Lo plug Rabbon, and the Rabbonin did not want to make a distinction between different kinds of Nisuin. Who Beis Hillel, and the Gemara says, how does Beis Hillel respond to this argument that ain't Oda Moser Bilaso Bilaznos, Kevandika Kiddushin Ksuba? This is not really a Bilaznos because over here you have a real Kiddushin, you have a Ksuba, so Loasu Lemeimar de Bilaso Bilaznos. Nobody's going to come to say that this act of relations was a Bilaznos because again, everything was done properly. There's just a Mion, but that doesn't make it, that doesn't render it a Bilaznos. And Rashi over here says, Lafisha in Adam, again, this is the, the second reason provided for Beishamai that the husband doesn't want his active relations to be Bilasnos. Question over here is, what does that have to do with allowing the girl to have me and refusal? This is something we're giving to the girl, not to the, not to the husband. So Rashi explains, Verabonan takinu nisun la ketana. The whole reason that the Rabbonan established marriage for a girl that's a minor, Kadeshalo yina goba minag hefker, so that people don't treat her like hefker, like she's, like she's ownerless, so to speak, like nothing. So therefore, this really is to her advantage also, because if you're going to say that she can do me and she can refuse, and then people themselves, the husbands are going to refuse. No one's going to want to marry her. Because they don't want a situation where retroactively it's going to be an act of bia that's a bi'ilaznus. So that's going to uproot, undo the takan of the rabbonin. So therefore, it really is to her benefit. Benefit because if, if we do not allow Mion after a situation of an act of relations, so then that's going to encourage people to actually marry her, and then people won't treat her as Hefker. And the Gemara said, the Isura to be Lasnos, again, a person doesn't even want the Chuppah to be a situation of Zanos or of Isser. Mosar Av, the Kaimel and the Nisu and Inu. And again, the same question by the case where she's given over to the agents of the husband, that's also Nisu and Udachvasa, and Nisu and the Rabbonin, have a Messir as Ache Nisu. And if the brothers give her over to the agents, that would be a Nisu and well, the Beisha. And according to Beishamai, there's no Mion. Because again, it's across the board, there's no Mion uh, by Nisu and Dein Meman and Ela Arusos. Because again, it's only by girls that are betrothed. So therefore, Maikol Ameymar, La Bilas Nusi, there is certainly not a Bilas Nus, the Lo Mimni, therefore, he's not going to be prevented from doing that, from having her given over to the uh, to the agents of the husband. And so therefore, again, the Gemara said, Lo Plug and we don't make distinctions. And the Gemara continues, Rapapa Omar, Rapapa says, Time of the Beishamai, the reason of Beishamai, again, why a Nesua, a girl who is a Nesua, is not allowed to do Mion, Mishum period, has to do with the fruits of the Nechsei Melug. Again, when a woman gets married, this applies specifically by Nesua and not by Erisin, so a woman brings in property to the marriage, that's called Nechsei Melug. And so the rule is that the husband can take from the fruits of that property, but the principal, the actual property, belongs to the woman. Let's say she leaves the marriage, she takes that property with her, and again, he takes the 
the Peros. So therefore, the reasoning is as follows. Not only is the reason of Beis Shammai based on Piri, but time of the Beis Hillel Mishon Piri, the reasoning of Beis Hillel that she is allowed to do Mian is also based on Piri, but in the other direction, and the Gemara explains. Time of the Beis Shammai Mishon Piri, the reason of Beis Shammai is because of the fruits. The Amrit Nesua to mine, because if you're going to say that a girl who is married is allowed to refuse the marriage and get out of it, so Shamid V'achaluhu Mina. So what he's going to do is he's going to try to extract as much profit out of that property as possible from her to sov sov lemei pakaima because he knows at the end she might be leaving him anyway so he'll try to grab as much payros as possible and therefore we do not allow miyun when it comes to a situation of an asua. Ubeis Hillel and Beis Hillel argue Adarab. On the contrary, we can make the exact opposite argument. Kevon de Amrit Timoin, since she does have that power of refusal, so now he'll actually want to be be good when it comes to the property. Ashbuche Meshavachlu, he's going to want to improve the property. Sover, because he's going to think, Dilo, Aitzi Lakrovi, Umafki Lamine, he's going to think, look, if I don't treat this property well, so then her relatives are going to encourage her to leave this, uh, to leave this marriage to do me and so that they can take the property back. So therefore, on the contrary, the fact that she has this power in the marriage, according to Beis Hillel, actually is a reason that encourages him to treat the property properly. As Rashi over here says, Mishum Piri Shalo Yafsid Peros, Nechse Milug. We don't want him to lose, to destroy rather, to consume all of the fruits of the Nechse Milug. Avalaris, Lesle Piri. Now, none of this is a concern by a woman that's betrothed because there are no fruits over there. There's no Nechse Milug. And Savar Dilo, on the contrary, but still say, no, he thinks, Dimeini Mashbich, and if I don't, if I don't treat it properly, if I don't improve the property, I'd see La Krove Vichulu, then her, her relatives will advise her to get out of this marriage. And therefore, on the contrary, the Mun makes sure, ensures that he treats the property property well. And the Gemara continues, Rava Omar Rava says, Hainu time de Beishamai. This is the reason of Beishamai. Why do Beishamai say that in a sewer there's no Mion? Shein Adam Toreach Besudam Afsida, because nobody is going to bother themselves, burden themselves, making this whole meal for a Nisuan, and then they're going to lose out. In other words, she can just refuse. So we don't allow the refusal at that point. Otherwise, no one's going to engage. Nobody's going to want to undertake the burden of having the Su'udas Nisuan. Well, Beis Hillel and Beis Hillel respond, No, Tarvayu Nichlu, it's good for both of them. It's good for the Man and the woman to get married, regardless of whether she can get out of it with Mion. Today, the late book Alayu Kaladishas, because it's good that it goes out to them the news that they have gotten married. That's something that's beneficial when people hear that someone got married. Rashi over here says, Besuuda Sudas Nisuin. There was a meal they made for the Nisuin. Hilkachiamr Tamoin Mimni Velonasvi. Again, people aren't going to want to get married if they know that that whole meal that they're going to make, she can just refuse the marriage and there's no more marriage. Nichalu Hilkach Lo Mimni. But on the other hand, no, they're not going to refuse to get, mar- to get married, say, Basila, because it's actually beneficial for a person to have a call go out that they've gotten married. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, There's a machlokas Beishamai and Beishelel. Beishamai say a girl cannot do miyun to the Yavim, to the brother-in-law. And Beishelel say that she is allowed to do that. The Gemara says, Amar Aboshi, Aboshi says, Even according to Beishelel, the miyun only works to the Maimer. The Maimer, again, is the betrothal stage of the Yibam process. But to the original bond, in other words, immediately when a woman's husband dies, there's a bond of Yibam that the Mion has no effect on that. Rashi over here explains, When Beis Hillel say that she can refuse the Yovam, that means to say she can undo the Mimer. Let's say he does a Mimer, he starts the process of Yivam with a betrothal, so to speak, so then she can undo that with Mion. There won't be any need for a get as far as the Mimer is concerned. But the Chalitza, which is done for the the bond that exists automatically right away, that you can't undo with me on rather for that again you're going to need Chalitza. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rav Chista, Rav Chista says, My time with Rabbi Yoshi, what's the reason of Rabbi Yoshi? Maimer Demi Daita, when it comes to Maimer, that's done with her will. In other words, it can't be done against her will. So Matsya Akra, so that she can uproot, she can use Mion to uproot the Maimer. But Zeka, when it comes to the bond, the Balkarcha, that bond exists against her will. It's automatic. So Lo Matsya Akra, so that she's not able to uproot with the Mion. But the Gemara asks on this, but what about the act of relations itself? The Baal Karcha, that is against her will. Rashi over here says, the Baal Karcha, meaning to say this is going on the bond, the Zeka, that's against her will, because that really comes from the original Kiddushan of the one that died, of the husband that died. That really comes from the strength of the, of the Nisuin. There was no refusal with the first one. That was the case over here. She had gotten married to someone who died. There was no Mion over there. And then at the moment he dies, there is 
is a zeka that comes from that marriage. So that's bal karcha. So in that, in that she can't do miyun. And so then the Gemara asks, well, what about biyavare? Biyaz yavam bal karcha. But even the act of relations of a yavam actually is also against her will. Kedo amar b'haba al yevemto, yevama yavo ala bal karcha. That's what we say in Perak haba al yevemto. And we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on daf kufzayin omid beis.